Well, good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. I'm glad to have you joining us here digitally uh, as we study God's word together in a brief format here uh, on video. You know, at, at Calvary, we believe that character is important. We believe that, in fact, it is impossible to represent Jesus unless we reflect his character. It's incredibly important for us to live with the character of Christ in every situation. And, and that is the key, the every situation part, because character is about how we live in the every moment detail of our life. Character isn't just about what people see when we're around people, when we're in public, when we're in high profile situations, but it's about what happens when we're by ourselves. the decisions we make, the thoughts we have, the things that we do, the things that we look at, the words that we speak, when we think no one's watching who can hold us accountable. That's where character comes in. And when I was a youth pastor, to help uh, my students kind of understand what this meant, uh, I would often issue the, the, the question uh, of a challenge of saying, if I hired a private investigator to follow you around for a week or two or three weeks and report back, what would they say? If they had access to every text message, every word you spoke, every interaction you, you had, would they come back and say that they're a, they're a believer in Jesus? They reflect God in every situation, and man, they're just great people. Or would they come back with some, some detrimental things to say about you? And I used that to help them to start to process what it meant to live for Jesus in every area of their life. And in 1 Peter chapter 3, he talks about this. It says this in verse 16. He says, have a good conscience so that when you're slandered, people who revile your good behavior in Christ may be put to shame. Now, that, it's an interesting thing to be told there, but it, it, it reminds me of just the, the principle that we need to live, as Scripture says, above reproach. To live in such a way that no one can fault us for anything. No one can actually slander or accuse us and have anything credible behind it. Makes me think as well of the Old Testament character of Daniel. Not maybe the character, the individual of Daniel. When you look at his story, Daniel is taken to Babylon in the, the exile there of the, the, the people of God. They're taken as prisoners in Babylon and forced to be in this awful, godless country. Uh, and yet Daniel succeeds. He succeeds because he stays true to his character and convictions in Christ. And in one part in chapter 6, some of the, the people are seeing the success that Daniel is having and they want to take him down. They want to accuse him. They want to make him go away. And in verse 5 of chapter 6, the, these people are scheming and they're coming together and they make the statement that they will have no way to accuse Daniel unless it's on the basis of his faith. Basically, they're saying this guy's impeccable. There's nothing in his character that we can accuse him of wrongdoing. We've got to find a way to fault him for his faith. And that's what they do. They make prayer illegal, and the next day they catch him in his regular rhythm of praying to God, and they arrest him on that cause. Which, side note, if you're looking for a great story, go read Daniel chapter 6 uh, today and read through what happens through the event of that. But what's so amazing about that is Daniel's character was so impeccable, they had to make his faith illegal in order to accuse him of anything. How powerful would that be if that was the case for us? If we lived with the character and integrity of Jesus in every situation, that the only way someone could fault us or accuse us or slander us was to somehow come at us because of our extreme devotion to Jesus. And church, that's my, my hope and prayer for you, that you would live in such a way that the character of Christ exudes out in your life, that you would live with integrity and honesty in the character of Jesus in every situation, and that it would change the interaction with everyone in your life. I hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.